consider a 3 by 3 matrix with all zeros as entries. Select three elements of the matrix at random and set them equal to 1. Let the event A be that each row sum and each column sum is equal to 1. Find the probability of A. Well, let's try a quick example of this. Here is a 3 by 3 matrix. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select three of the positions at random and put ones there. So let's select the middle one first, the 2-2 two, two entry. Then we'll select this one and then maybe this one down here. Now the rest of them all remain as zeros. So in this case, the row sums and the column sums are not all ones. So this is not one that uh, satisfies the criteria. Let's try another one. In this case, let's select one over here and then follow that up by a one here and then finally a one down here and when you do that, fill in the rest being zeros, you'll notice in this case our row sums and our column sums are both ones, so this one we're going to put in as a yes. Now this is a nice problem to work because you can do it two different ways. So I'm going to do two different solutions to this particular problem. This is solution one, and in solution number one, I'm going to assume that order is indeed important as the calculations are done and we're calculating P of A. So P of A in this case, if the order that we select the three positions for the one is important, then when we started out with the matrix, we had nine different choices, right? In the denominator, we're calculating all the possibilities. And then once that position, which was the middle position here, was taken, we had eight positions left for the second one to put in place, and then seven for that third one. Now let me go back to a little bit of a rewind here and let's select that first position as kind of the center position there. So when we're calculating the numerator of these 504 different choices that we have, we want to reflect the fact that order is important when we calculate the numerator. So we know to get those in which we have row sums and column sums equal 1, we're completely free to pick the 1 in that first case anywhere we want, and in this case we chose the middle. Once we do that, however, we eliminate the other positions in that row and in that column of the first one that we chose. Now we only have four positions left, which corresponds to a row sum and column sum of 1. So we have four positions left next. So let's say we choose this position right here second. That eliminates this entire row, this entire column. There's only one position remaining for that last choice. Uh, 9 times 4 is 36. 36 over 504, that reduces to 1 14th. The second solution assumes that order is not important. Now we're going to do order not being important in the denominator and so we have to reflect that in the numerator. So P of A in this case is 9 choose 3. Of the 9 positions in the matrix we're going to choose three of them and assume that the order is not important. Well, once you do that, to get a row sum and column sum of one, row sums and column sums being one, you have three different choices for this first row of where your one will go. Once you go down to that second row, that first column is already taken so now you only have two choices and then finally for the last one to put in place there is only one choice and so that becomes out of the 84 possibilities six of them correspond to row sums and column sums of one and not surprisingly the 
the answer works out identical in that case.